fun stuff today. We're going to, to, to learn how to be better writers. And you might be thinking, oh, I don't care. I don't want to be a better writer, whatever. But I will tell you that if you are a good writer, you will be able to get a good job someday. Who wants a good job when they grow up? Raise your hand. Okay, hands down. Who wants a job that's good enough that you can help your mom and dad if they need help? Raise your hand. Absolutely, hands down. Who wants to be smarter? Raise your hand. Hands down. Well, guess what? Learning to be a good writer, I don't just mean making the letters. I mean learning to write your ideas down and be able to, to put some information on paper for someone else to read. That will make you smarter. Okay, so I'm gonna sh we're gonna show you how to do that, and then you guys will be able to get good jobs when you get big. So, in order to get a good job, do you need to be a good writer or a bad writer? Think. Your choices are good writer or bad writer. Everybody. Good writer. Excellent. And if you are a good writer, will you be able to get a good job or a bad job? Think. Everybody. Good job. That's right. So this thing, everybody, point to the organizer on your desk. The name of that paper is, it's an organizer. Is it an organizer or just a piece of paper? Organizer. Everybody? Everybody? Organizer. Thank you. And the organizer makes writing easy. Does the organizer make writing easy or hard? Thank you. Everybody? Easy. Because it's got the most important stuff down on there. Okie doke. So, pick up your pencils, please. Where our story is, oh sorry, just, 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 just in your hands right there. In our story today about Kumax Fish, okay, is the main character in our story Kumak or Sumak? Think, everyone. Main character is? Kumak. Excellent. And Kumak, does he live in the Arctic or does he live near the equator? So your choices are Arctic or equator. Think, everybody. Arctic. So Kumak lives in the, everybody? Arctic. Sit up, we're working hard, we're not sleeping. Okay, so now Kumak has a problem, okay? Then he needs to be able to catch, do they want to catch fish or deer? Think? Everybody, they want to catch? Fish. Is, has Kumak caught a lot of fish? Yeah. Well, yeah. He brings out his uncle's special pole, right? And they're all going fishing. So, Kumak feels that, pretend you got a fishing pole, go like this. Kumak's got the fishing pole, and he's waiting. So pretend you're waiting. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Say, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And all of a sudden, he feels a twitch on the pole. Make your pole twitch. What's, what's making the pole twitch? Is it Kumak or is it a fish, everybody? Fish. fish. Well, why doesn't he just pull the fish in? All right? Here's your question. Oh, do you, are you guys, are they in partnerships? Partner one, partner two, A, B? Barely. Okay, so, uh, next, someone next to you, uh, so that you'll want to get like partner one, partner two, right. go Okay, okay. so they are, you know your partners at your table. I thought you meant with the team. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. no. Your Just, partner at your table. So your partner at your table, do they have a name like partner one, partner two? Okay, uh, so let's, let's decide this. Well, actually, let's not go there. Put your hand up and your, put your hands up with your partner like this. Okay? Okay, you're with me. What? Figure out who's partner one. Figure out who's partner one. Somebody Richard. say partner one, and then partner two. Okay. What do you want to be, partner one? Okay, you're partner one. All right, partner one, raise your hand. Partner one, repeat after me. What is Kumak's problem? Repeat. What is Kumak's problem? Partner two, say, repeat after me. Kumak's problem is? Kumak's problem is? Tell your partner, what's Kumak's problem? Class, class! Yes, yes. Raise your hand if you were talking about how the fish that, that 
Kumat couldn't pull the fish in because it was too hard. Raise your hand if you were talking about that. Were you guys talking about that? That it was too hard for the fish to pull in? Or too, too hard for Kumat to pull in? Yes, okay. So, mm -hmm. let's jump to the end of the story. We call the end of the story the resolution. What do we call the end of the story? Resolution. At the very end of the story, you guys have read this a whole lot now. At the very end of the story, is everybody eating fish or is everybody starving in the village? Think. Your choices are everybody's eating fish or everybody's starving. Everyone? Everybody. So repeat after me. Everybody's eating fish. Everybody's eating fish. Who caught the fish? Kumak or his family? Everybody? Kumak. Okay. Yeah, so Kumak, so all right, so we gotta get that down there. So and we another name for ending is, everyone? Look right here. Another name for ending is resolution. What's another name for ending? Resolution! So by resolution, I want you to please write. We're gonna write the word everyone. What word? Everyone. So spell after me. E B. E E R. E R. Y. Y. What is that word? Every. Now we need to add one right next to it. Spell after me. O N E. O N E. That's a compound word with two little words. What's the whole word? Everyone. Now pick up the pace. The word is everyone. What's the word? Everyone. Excellent. What are the two little words in everyone? Everyone. So we're going to say everyone eats. Spell that. Girl, what word are we going to spell? Say eats. What's that word? Eat. Everyone eats what? Fish. Everyone eats what? Fish. You need to yell, just, just nice and normal. Okay, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to draw a fish. So we can remember that. Everyone eats fish. Whose fish is it? Who caught the fish? Kumat or Brittany? Everybody? Kumat. Kumat. All right, so we're going to draw an arrow. Take draw an arrow from Kumat over to the fish, you know, over to the everyone eats fish, so we know that it's Kumak's fish they're eating. Okay, now I got a tough question for you. The people who wrote this story, they're trying to tell us something like about how we should live our life. They're, so they're trying to tell us how we should be, okay? Oh, you know what? Don't worry, just cross it out. Just cross it out and go ahead and write. You're good, pretty much. The, the author's trying to tell us how we should live. And so what do you think the author is trying to tell us? Did Kumat catch this, catch this fish all by himself or did he have help? So your choices are by himself or with help. Did Kumat catch the fish by himself or with help? Everyone? With help. Did just his family help him or did the whole town come and help him? Everybody? The whole town. So what is the author trying to tell us about problems? Should we solve problems by ourselves or should we get help? Think. Everyone? Get help. Okay, so that's called the theme, okay? So, uh, partner one, raise your hand. Partners one, raise your hand. Repeat after me. The theme of this story is? The theme of this story is? Partner two, raise your hand. Say, the theme of this story is? The theme of this story is? Okay, talk to each other. What is the theme of this story? They're trying to tell us when we have problems, what should we do? Should we do it by ourselves or get help? Talk to your partner. Third graders, class, class. Yes, yes, yes. Were you saying something at your table like the theme of this story is that we should, when we have problems we should get help or that we should do it by ourselves? The answer, your choices are get help or work by ourselves. Everybody? Yeah. There we go. So we're going to put this up here. So we're going to write the word theme. What word are we going to write? Theme. Go 
spell after me. T H E M E. And you're writing it right up here in this part. That word is theme. What is that word? Theme. Good job, buddy. Hey, nice work. Excellent job. I like how you boys and girls are just getting right along. All right. Theme equals. All right, so we're going to put equals after it. And we're going to write the word problem. What word are we going to write? So we're going to write the word conflict. What word are we going to write? Conflict. Actually, draw an arrow down to conflict. That. Now we're going to write by theme. We're going to write. Are we going to write get help, or going to we, are we going to write by yourself? Thing. Everybody, what are we going to write? Get help. Thank you. Yourself. Write the word. Write the word get. What word? Get. Spell after me. G E T. G E T. What does that spell? Get. What are we going to write next? Help. Spell. What word are we going to write? Spell after me. H E A L P. Excellent. Okay, now you've got a sheet of paper with you, right? Yeah. We're gonna turn this into real writing, like kids do in junior high, like kids do in high school, like your mom or your dad might do at your at their job. Okay, so let's do this. Let's see. Is this your? Can I borrow? Very kind of you. Oh, you know what we need to do? I almost forgot. We need to decide the sequence. I almost forgot the sequence. What did I almost forget, Mom? The sequence. Everybody say sequence. Sequence. Sequence is the order. Like, everybody put your hand up. Say number one. Number one. What comes after number one? Two. So, like this. Number two. What comes after that? Three. You know what we just did right there? Because we went one, two, three. That's sequence. What was I just doing? Sequence. Sequence goes in what order? First you do number one. Then number two. Then number three. Then number four. Then number five. That word, that is called, you can call it the order, or you could call it the sequence. What do we call it? Sequence. Sequence is a very sort of, it's a fifth grade word. Can you guys handle fifth grade words? No. Okay, so we're going to do the sequence. The first thing we're going to tell is Kumak. So put a number one by Kumak. Put number one by Kumak and circle it by his name. Did you get it? I like how you work fast. Good job, good job. All right. You were good for right now. Just put a one right there. We did arrows to connect other stuff. Okay, so. Then we're going to talk about the theme next. Put a number two by the theme. Where are you going to put the number two by the theme? What number are you writing? Two. Did you get a number two now? Did you get two now? If you do, you got to write this theme. Stay with me, bud. This is going to make homework a lot easier. Then we're going to down by the conflict where you couldn't get the fish out, put number three. Okay. Are you ready? You got that done? Give me five. Nice work. Nice work. Oh, you need to get number three down. Stay with me. Did you get all three numbers down? One. Two goes here. So one, two, three. There you go. How about you? Give me five. Nice work. Give me six. Give me five. Good work. Victor, muy bien. Tu? También? Good job. Give me five. I'll be over to you guys in a little bit to see how you're doing. All right. Now that we've got them numbered, are we going to, is our sequence going to go, if we're following our sequence, are we going to do number one, number two, number three? Which one? To start out. To start. What number are we going to use? One, two, or three? One. Thank you. So we're going to talk about who? Put your finger on number one on your organizer. Here we go. Let's do some writing. Well, first we need to actually write our title. So, everybody get your sheet of paper. We're going to go put your finger in the center of the first 
makes sense, does it? We gotta say a man who lives in the Arctic. So we're gonna say a man. The word is who? What word? Who? Spell after me. W H O. W H O. Lives is the word. What's next? Lives. Spell after me. L I. L I. V. E. Now we gotta add the suffix. Fast. S. S. Pencils under this. Voices together. We gotta see if it makes sense. This story is about two nights and who lives. Nice job. A man who lives where? In the Arctic or in Ogden? Arctic. Thank you. A man who lives, and we're going to write in. Write in. How do you spell in, everybody? Ogden. The? I know you can tell me that one. Spell the? E. A. E. Now we come to Arctic. The word is Arctic. What's the word? Arctic. And I really hope I'm spelling this right. Is it A? A, Good. No, A. We're going to spell Arctic. Spell it for me. A R C. Oh, that was Arctic. A R C. T I C. T I C. Third graders, listen to how I read this. And I want you to listen to my voice, and then you're going to copycat my voice. This story is about Kumat. See that? Pause. This story is about Kumek, a man who lives in the Arctic. Okay? Fingers or pencils under this, voices together. Make it sound like me. This Pause, pause. A man who loves Arctic. Did you hear our voice stop? You want to hear voice stops? Do you think you need a period at the end or a capital letter at the end? Period. Everybody? Period. Thank you. Put a period in there. Okay, now. Go down to number one on your organizer. Put your finger on number one. Cross that out. Put a big X on it. Put a big X on number one and say, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. So if we're done with number one, what's next in our sequence? Number two. Number two or number three? Number two. Where's number two on your paper? Put your finger there. And that's in number two. What are we going to talk about? Are we going to talk about the resolution or the theme? Everybody? Theme. Thank you. Remember the theme is what should we do in our life? Okay? Here we go. Go right over here on your papers, and we're going to say something like, the theme is, repeat. The theme is. Do we need a capital letter or a lowercase letter when we start a sentence, everybody? Capital or lowercase? Capital. Capital. Here we go. Capital. Capital T-H-E. Repeat. Capital T-H-E. Okay. Then we got to write the word theme. If we didn't know how to spell the word theme, if we forgot... Where could we look to, to get the word theme? We could look on our organizer or on our pencils. Where would we look? Organizer. Theme. All right. Spell after me. T H E. T H E. M E. Pencils under the. Voices together. The theme is. Thank you. Right is. Okay, now, question. Is the theme when you have a problem, get help? Or is the theme when you have a problem, do it all by yourself? Are we going by, by help or with self? Everybody? Help. All right. The theme is? The theme is? When you have a problem, when you have a problem, I need to hear everybody. When you have a problem, when you have a problem, I don't need, can we do that again when we use a normal tone of voice but I, and I, that I can hear? The theme is, so repeat after me. When you have a problem, when you have a problem, let's spell the word when. What word are we going to spell? When. When. No yelling. Repeat it. Spell after me. W H W H E N. Now, to remember what we're going to write next, pencils under the, voices together. 
The theme is when, what's next? The. When the problem, when near, near you, when you, we're going to write you, spell after me, Y-O-U. Y-O-U. When you have, the word is have, spell after me, H-A. A-A-V-E. V-E. And then put another A for a. Okay, we gotta finish a. this off. Pencils under the. Do you have a question? Okay. How do you bathroom situation? Uh, how do you guys handle that? Do you do you get a pass to go or? No, we can't go to the bathroom. Go ahead, sweet pea. Can I go to the bathroom? No, after she gets back. We have the old. Okay. We usually go during computers, so it's probably about their time. That's why they're asking. Okay, sorry, just one second. All right, fingers under the, pencils under the, voices together. The theme is when you have a what? When you have a papa. Spell after me, P R. P R O B. O B. L E M. L E M. Okay, so let's figure out how we're going to end this. Pencils under the voices together. The theme is when do what? Get help or go it alone? There we go. So we're gonna write get help. The word is get. What's the word? Get. Spell after me. G E T. G E T. The next word is help. Spell after me. H E H E L P. L -P. What's that word? L. There you go. Now, you can sit right there and maybe you can closer. Okay. Now listen to me. I'm going to model for you how this should sound. Fingers under Kumax, my turn, you point. Kumax fish, my turn. This story is about Kumax, a man who lives in the Arctic. The theme is, oh, I think you know what we need here? The theme is we need a colon, like that, two dots. The theme is when you have a problem, comma, get help. Okay, make it sound like that. Fingers or pencils under Kumex, voices together. Kumex fish. Take it ready. A man who lives in the Arctic. Stop. Got it? Take a breath. Start right here. Let's look at this. Voices together. This story is about a man. Stop. Go. Very well. I'm really proud of your hard work today. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Good hard work. Excellent hard work. Excellent hard work. That was lovely. Thank you, honey. Okay, so um, please close your notebooks. In fact, put your organizer inside your notebook. Put your organizer right in there. Oh, okay. Does it go in your working folder? Yeah. Oh, I, my mistake, third, fourth graders. Third. Oh, you know you're.